Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very, very easy bread. It starts off with 320 grams of water and a ready mixed bag of flour that will make you a two pound loaf of bread. Pull the water in. And mix it around. Keep mixing around. Really young, get your hands in there. Really good. Get right in there. Start mixing to dough. Eventually it will come to a ball of nice dough for bread. So this bread is dead cheap, dead easy. No hassle, no frills. Yeast already in there. No butter. Just put the water straight in. Get it mixed around and mixed around. Keep kneading. It takes about 10 minutes just to knead. Be a bit rough with it. Don't be frightened of it. You see it's coming together now. It's starting to bind, which is really good. Give it a twizz. And keep, keep kneading for 10 minutes as I said. Then you're ready to let it rest. Okay, you can see it's all mixed now, ready. A nice, soft dough, a bit sticky. It's not too bad at all. Next thing, bang it onto a floured board and knead it for a good 10 minutes. This is essential to get the yeast to start working. Get all the bits in it. Give it a good rough old knead. Knuckles are great. Do this, fold it in, fold it in. I'm sure you've seen this done before by many people, but just keep working it. Great for a bit of exercise. Just keep working it, keep working it. So it's 10 minutes this, so be liberal with it. Don't mess about. Give it a good 10 minutes. Keep working it. Okay, you finished kneading for 10 minutes. Um, nice and round. Bit of dough there. Lovely bit of dough. We've got a pre oil tray ready for the uh, for the oven. So I'm going to lift her up, lift this baby up, bang it on, give it central. Make sure the shape's just doesn't have to be accurate. As good as it gets. So we're going to just bang it there into here. We've got some pre-oiled cling film. Just throw it on dead light. Don't mess about with it. It's going to rise. It's going to push it up anyway. So, and we'll stick it in the windowsill. Hopefully, get some sun at it. Bit of heat. Let it rise for an hour. That's it. Time for a brew. Wow! Look at that. That's really got up there, hasn't it? Probably what, three times the size? Superb. Right, oven's on. We're at about 210 degrees. Uh, it says 230, which is a fan oven, so a little bit less. We're going to bang it in the oven for about 15 20 minutes. A little bit of flatbed. Keep your eye on it though, because it might just boom on you. Anyway, let's have a go. We'll stick it in. Middle shelf. In she goes. 15-20 minutes, great. Okay, it's been about um, 12 minutes or so. Have a quick look, see so we're getting on. Oh, she's ready. She's definitely ready. Look at that. Here we go. Quick. Yep, she's hot on. Okay, so stick it on the old cooling tray. Get rid of that. Okay. I've got some lovely soup here as well, homemade soup, peppers, a bit of pancetta, another day of that, shall we? Anyway, quick tester, just turn it over, you can hear it hollow, that means she's done. So I'm going to try and cut it, it is hot, but we'll try and give it a cut to see what we're like. There we go. 
Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Give it a slice. Wow, it's hot. Whoa, it's hot. Get it while it's hot. Now, I called it copper soup bread for the sheer purpose that it's just the right size. Just the right size. Bit of soup. Dunk it in. And you know where. How's that? Do you want to see some more? Click the pages.